Hey guys, Chad Horrible Modeler here, and uh, welcome to another update on the NX01 refit. This is about the point of the build where everything really starts to come alive. We're talking about doing the decals. Now, I've already done the decals on the bottom. As you can see, there's some striping there. Uh, we've got uh, landing bays right there. Um, some red stripes there on the bottom. I've done the decaling on the nacelles on the side of the ship on both sides. And now we're going to do the top. So, some of you know all about doing this, and maybe some of you beginners don't. So, let's just start from the beginning. What you need? Well, the first thing you need is a clean, clear-coated model. Some people decide to spray the whole thing with a clear. If you're using a bigger model, some people just like to spray, spray the areas where you're going to be applying the detail. Uh, the reason that why is that you need a really nice slippery surface on the model to get the decal to slide into the position where you want it. What kind of tools do you need? Well, the main thing you need first is a cup of water right here. What I use, and you'll see this vary from people to people, but this is one of the more popular things. Is Microset and Microsol by Microscale Industries. <clears throat> and what these are is this is a solution that will soften up the decal so it's ready to go into panel lines and blend in with the paint to look like the painted on look. And this right here is what makes it do that. Um, scissors, tweezers, brushes for the solutions. I always mark the one with uh, one of them so I don't mix up the set and the sole together. Um, some people like to position the decals with scissors. Some like to use hobby knives. Um, I like to use a straight uh, dental probe. That helps really easy. Cotton buds. So suck up all the extra moisture that you get on it, got on there. And of course, your decals and decal placement guide. So, the model's clear-coated, it's ready to go. Now, one thing you'll notice off the bat, that this is kind of in an awkward position. You know, it's on the stand. Some people like to put it on the stand and decal like this. You know, it's a lot easier when I was dealing with the bottom. Now I gotta deal with the top. Luckily, so there's not many on here. Um, if there was, I usually would take some kind of, uh, well, you know, I would take some kind of towels like this and, uh, you know, kind of fold them up underneath there and make myself, uh, some kind of a jig just to make things a little bit, uh, you know, even for me. In fact, I think I'll, I'll go with that right there. So, the first thing we do, let's see, we're going to put on a landing bay, which is going to go right there. So, I will zoom you in for that process. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the decal, and I really like reverse action scissors for this. Um, these testers ones are really nice because they're so long. When you're using bigger decals, if you have big bowls, you can just kind of lay it there. Um, depending upon the manufacturer, the age of the decals and everything is really going to justify how long you need to soak it, how warm your water needs to be, and how careful you need to be. Now, this water is just room temperature. It has a little bit of micro set in it already. So I dip the decal in there for about 10 seconds and then I laid it right there and we're just going to let it sit there for a while and soak things up. 
I'm going to take my brush that has the microset solution on it and dip it into the water in microset solution. And I'm just going to apply it liberally all over where it's going to go. Now, sometimes this will beat up on you and sometimes it won't. Uh, it depends on what kind of clear coat you're using and such. Um, if it begins to beat up on you a little bit, you can always add a little bit of this, just a drop or two of this detergent into your water. Or if you have any type of uh, flow improver, like uh, flow aid or something like that, you can use that too, just to break up that surface tension. So now that that's been on there a little bit, Kind of move me in here a little closer. Not sure what we got going on. Don't want to spill anything there. And with the magic of computers, we'll zoom in. All right. This is the tricky part. These decals are really nice and rigid, so you can kind of be a little bit more careless with them and get away with stuff. But basically what you're going to do is make sure the decal slides around. So see how I can move it around and it slides off the paper. And then I'm going to get it down here pretty close to where I want it. And just slide it off. And then I'm going to use my probe to position the decal. Exactly where I want it. Let it sit there for a few seconds. And the next thing you want to do is you want to take your brush and dip it into the micro set, which is the blue, and you just want to cover that decal, making sure it doesn't move on you. If it does, no big deal. So I applied the micro set to the top of it, checking my alignment, everything looks good. Now I'm just going to let it sit there for a few minutes until the next part of the process. In the meantime, I'll take the other hanger, the other landing bay, dump it into the water, and let it hang out there to dry a little bit. Now, different manufacturers' decals are easier to work with than others. Um, a lot of the aftermarket stuff you get is going to be the hardest stuff to deal with. Uh, the, the biggest reason is you basically have to cut each detail out individually because they're printed all at once at one time on one big sheet of decal paper. Where the stuff you get from your bigger manufacturers is all pre-cut. So you basically can just cut a general area around it and then slide it off. Um, the other thing I've noticed with aftermarket decals is that you really need to protect them. And if you're new to decals and you're trying to use them, you need to spray them with a couple coats of either the tester's decal bonder or future floor polish. Or even uh, some type of a lacquer. Uh, a lot of the aftermarket decals will have their own instructions on there and tell you what to do. All right, so while that one's setting up, let's get this one on here. So we're going to do the same thing. We'll take our water and apply it down in there.
grab the decal. Make sure it moves. And then get it in position. Slide it right off. Now you can see, you know, I slid that one off really crazy, but it's okay uh, because the decal is wet, I can position it and move it wherever I need to. Now there will be situations when your decals won't do that or some decals won't cooperate. Uh, the biggest thing to do first is not panic. The next thing to do is to wet the top of the decal again. A wet decal, not a wet surface, is really the key once you get it onto the surface. That's what I've noticed in all of my trials and tribulations. So we put the decal down, put the salt, put the solvus, the micro set on there. Check our position. It's a little off. A big deal. Put it back in there. There we go. So we'll let that one sit there for a couple minutes. This one here has probably been there for long enough. So what you're going to do is take a Q-tip. And you are just going to lay it right there. And you're going to roll. <coughs> excuse me. Roll the Q-tip across the decal. Ever so lightly. Just to make sure that you got all the water out of there and everything. And that one looks really good. I've been working with these a little bit, so I'm pretty sure by now that I can do the same thing with this one. So I'll pull out a little bit of that, and then I'll roll the rest of it. And there we go. Two shuttle bays on there. Now we're kind of in a waiting period, at least two, three, four, five minutes, you want to sit and let the decal just kind of sit like that and just keep softening up and biting down to the plastic before we take our other brush and apply the microsol, which is what is going to suck it down into those black panel lines down in there. Let's see if you can see that. But since we're on the television here, do the magic of everything. I'm going to take the micro saw and kind of with the grain of the decal and with the grain of the panel lines, just apply it. Pretty decent amount. You don't have to worry about overdoing it or not. The main thing you want to make sure is the decal is already laid down before you do this. Now, it's basically just a waiting game. Some people let them set for a couple hours, some people let them set all night. You know, I'll probably do the rest of this and let them set all night before I do anything until tomorrow. Then I'll recheck and see if they have all set down properly. Um, if not, um, I'll apply another layer of Microsol or I'll find out what the holdup is. Um, sometimes, you know, they'll be stuck, they'll be hung up on a panel line or something like that. And you'll have to basically trim, trim the decal in the panel line uh, to make it drop down in there properly. Especially when you get to the larger ships that have the Aztec decals. So, I hope you guys learned something there. That's it. Till next time. Peace.